RSTP or Rapid STP. In this video, I'm going to talk about the RSTP or Rapid STP. You know that STP or traditional STP has a slow convergence. And this means that it has the, uh, for example, long convergence time. Let me to review some of the topics about the traditional STP. After that, we can start learning about the rapid STP or RSTP. You know that in STP, in direct topology change, we need to uh, pass listening and also learning time. And you know that here we need 15 plus 15 equal 30 seconds of, de of delay for enabling the interface. I explained all of these topics before, only here I'm going to review these topics. After that, you know that about the indirect topology change, we need to uh, pass max age time, and after that listening, after that learning, finally we will uh, for example, past 50 seconds, about 50 seconds for enabling the interfaces. Because of that, we can say STP or traditional STP is, a, for example, a slow protocol. And because of that, we need to find the, a better way for converging the network. You know that, assume that the, one, of this, one of the links in this network, okay, is uh, failed. And uh, the time takes that for establishing the connections again again or communication again between is between 30 to 50 seconds and this is not suitable for today's network because of that we need to modify the process of the stp the result is rstp in this video i'm going to talk about this protocol how we can maintain the network loop free with stp but with faster convergence okay the solution is the rstp we need to find to learn about the rstp now but before the starting the rstp concept let me to say that rstp is not complete difference uh, protocol uh, from the stp okay maybe you think that stp is one protocol rstp is another protocol and these two protocol uh, are working completely different but this is not true rstp in uh, for example maybe 50 percent of its function is is same as the STP. This means that many of the things, many of the concepts that you learn about the STP also available in the RSTP. Let me to review the STP process. You know that in STP, not RSTP, okay? We have these three steps for uh, creating the network, the LAN uh, loop-free network. The first is root bridge election. The second is root port selection in each switch and then designated port selection in each link. Okay, this is the STP process means the IEEE, let me to write here, IEEE 802.1D. Okay, now let me to say a good news that uh, the RSTP process exactly same. So good news, 802.1W, okay? How the RSTP creates a network loop free, such as the STP, okay? But maybe you ask me, what is the difference? I will talk about that. But let me first starting with three steps in the RSTP. In RSTP, again, we have the same three steps. The first step is root uh, root bridge sele uh, root bridge election, and you know that we are selecting we are electing the root bridge according to the lowest bridge ID. Here we have exactly the same concept because of that. Assume in that in this scenario, switch one, switch two, and switch three. Okay, the MAC of the switch one is lower than the MAC of switch two, and also the, is lower than the MAC of switch three. Because of that, we know that the switch one is the root bridge because lowest bridge ID in this network okay after that we need to find the root port the selecting the root ports in each switch again according to the lowest okay lowest cost to the root bridge lowest cost to root bridge and this is the same step uh, with the STP because of that we can say here assume that all of these links are one gigabit per second let me to write here 
this is the 1G means 1 gigabit per second link and you know that the cost of 1G is 4 here again is 4 and also this is 1G for example this this interface the port 1 of the switch 2 okay is the root port of the switch 2 and also the port 1 of the switch 3 is the root port of the switch 3 and finally we need to select the designated ports designated port selection again with the same rule that we had before again lowest cost to the root bridge let me to show you uh, for example in the switch 2 uh, in, in the link between switch 1 and switch 2 this interface the port 1 of the switch 1 the root bridge is the designated port and the between switch 1 and switch two, uh, 3 the port 2 is the designated port and finally between the switch 2 and switch 3 the port 2 of the switch uh, two with the same stp tie breakers is the designated port and now here is the alternate port let me to talk about the first difference between the stp and rstp as you can see here everything is same but let me to give you one new information about the stp and rstp you know that in rstp we have actually three roles the first is a root port root role root port role and the second is the designated okay port and finally the block port but you know that in cisco the the block can be seen as alternate okay and backup and i mentioned i explained before that this is the uh, for example uh, this is the cisco that using these two terms but in uh, stp in the a standard of the stp in the standard version of the stp traditional stp we have the block okay in the roles stp roles let me uh, to write here after that i'm going to review the rstp roles look at look at here this is the stp role now let me to talk about the rstp role the rstp role not in cisco in uh, the standard include root designated and then alternate and then backup this means that now we don't have a role with the name of block we have alternate and backup and this is not the cisco proprietary feature this is the standard feature we can say rstp now uh, has four roles root designated alternate and also backup so is also if you want you know that we have another role we call it uh, for example disable disable means this interface now is shut down okay it's, if you want you can consider also disable here disabled root designated and block also here let me write here and now you know that the first difference between the rstp and the stp is that in rstp in all brands we have alternate and backup with the same definition that we had in the stp in cisco okay you know that in a standard stp we didn't have the uh, alternate and backup this is the of uh, uh, cisco uh, terms but in rstp now these two terms alternate and backup are the for example standard term, terms this is the first difference now you know that in each brand that you are using the rstp okay cisco or other brands you can see the alternate okay this is new for other vendors but for cisco administrators maybe this is not new very good after that you know that also the interface connected to the computer is the dp this is the same processes such as the stp now maybe you ask me what is the difference what is the important difference between the stp and rstp i can say that rstp is rapid stp and everything every process that in stp uh, is working and the result of that process is slowing the stp should be solved in the rstp this means that about the features in stp that uh, don't have any relation to the speed the rstp and stp are, are working same but about the features in stp that feature result to a slowing function a slowing for example in convergence okay the rstp can give us some solution for example you know that 
when you are attaching when you are enabling one interface and after selecting the role of that interface as for example designated port or root port you know that this interface